Greetings, weary travelers! Pull up a seat! Sure, he may here with Let's Play Harvest Moon Animal Parade. Day 23 in spring, 6 o'clock in the morning, it's a cloudy day. So what's going on? Looks like almost nothing is going on until the Animal Festival at the end of this week. And this is the last week of spring, you guys! Guess what summer means? We can finally get going on the next bell! Oh yeah! Well, actually, we're gonna have to grow some corn first, so there's that. I'm pretty sure I got my tools out already, but I'm gonna check just to make sure. It's gonna be kind of derpy of me to step out here and not have my tools. Ooh, you got mail. Okay, good, I have my tools. Mail, mail, mail. Oh, it's just a reminder about the giraffe. Hmm, maybe we'll do that soon. I have to buy an oven first. But hey, we got enough money, right? And it's Monday, so the garment shops will be open today. Yeah, why don't, why don't we go find that giraffe today? What do you guys think? I think that's a good idea. Because we like animals, we want to help animals, and if he really wants to go back to the or she really wants to go back to the circus. Though so you think if she really wanted to go back, she would go on her own, without having to be found by us first and fed her favorite food. Oh well, video game logic, guys. Gotta love it. So, how are you guys all doing? I hope you're doing well. So well. I am so ready for summer, but it's still so freaking cold here. It was pretty nice today, and then now it's falling into the 40s again. <laughs> I'm getting kind of tired of this weather. I just want some nice sunshine. I want summer to be here already. I really hope you guys can't hear the howling wind outside. If I do hear it in the recording, I'll try to find a way with audacity to take it out, but I'm hoping you guys won't be able to hear it. Ah, uh, pretty annoying when Mother, even Mother Nature gets on your case. Speaking of Mother Nature, it's Mother's Day this Sunday. You guys doing anything special for your moms? We'll probably take my mom out to eat, something like that, maybe. She's not picky. She doesn't want flowers, she said, that's for sure. Because they hardly last a few days before they go rotten, so what's the point, she says. <laughs> that's cool with me, I mean, I'm kind of the same way with flowers. It's like, yeah, they're nice and pretty when you first have them, and then it's like, <laughs> the novelty wears off when there's rotting flowers in the face a couple of days later. But hey, that's how the cookie crumbles. Not that I've ever gotten flowers, you know, not from, you know, anyone special or anything like that. Like, I got flowers once in a play, and that was just because they were giving them to all the girls who were in the play, so... <laughs> it wasn't anything specific. Yeah, I'm not the kind of girl that gets flowers from people. Especially, uh, guys. <laughs> We should be able to get some good crops today, I think. Oh yeah, look at all this lettuce, just for us. Let us take this lettuce and sell it. For money, money, money. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what I ain't got. <laughs> that's from an old, uh, that's from the old Earthbound tune from the Runaway Five. Of course, that wasn't the tune to it, but that's what they were saying. One of those tunes, I think Lucky was talking about that too. I don't remember exactly what part of the game it was, but yeah. Totally random. I'm sure you guys don't remember that. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh yeah, this is when I planted weird stuff everywhere. You know, last time I was like, yeah, I should I should buy some wheat to make some flour and stuff. We have wheat growing, and I completely forgot about it. <laughs> but you know, that's okay, because we were able to make the pie crust already. So we can give that to Chase tonight. So cool, we can get like double things done today. Isn't that great? That is fantastic. Ah. But yeah, eventually we're gonna do some more mining and stuff and make some serious dough because we really need to upgrade stuff like our house, like our tools. We gotta get going on that stuff. Let's see, do we have anything else ready? Not even a tulip. Oh well. I don't know if I have the seeds to put in these places here. I don't think I do. 
Oh, I have. I have some tulip seeds. Well, we might as well use those, huh? Well, let's put them up here with these other tulips. Oh, wait, there's some lettuce there. Okay, fine. We'll put them up here. This will do fine. Oh, I have more than that. Oops. Fudge! Well, uh, here. Ta-da! Ta-da! Why did I buy some Kalinga Mons? That seems really off. Oh well. All's good. As you guys might know, I've started Mario Party 8 as kind of a little fun series sort of thing. It's just a total crack series, I mean... You can't expect what's gonna happen in that game, it just happens. Whether it's good or bad, for me it's probably usually pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I guess we should buy more seeds if we don't have more, but I'm gonna put these tools away and see if we do have more seeds we can put down. If not, we should buy some! Because that would be good. And we can go and give Chase a present. Herbal tea. So I've decided to save the sea urchins for Kathy, since she's harder to get some- Oh, no, we want to keep that. Leave it there. Thank you. I do want to put this stuff away, though. We aren't going to need our hammer today. Nope, nope, nope. I am going to take the fishing pole, though, just in case- just in case we need to kill some time before we go to the bar later. Well, I guess we could take these up to Garmin Mines later, too. That's not much, though. Do you think we should save these? I don't know. One piece of copper ore laying around, right? Awesome. Maybe we will take that stuff up just to get it out of the way. I don't even care if it's scrap metal. I just want to get get it out of my inventory space. We're so limited. Alas, alas. Now let's see how much stuff we need to fill up here. Of course, then again, some things are going to be ready like tomorrow or the next day, too. So we have like, a bunch of spaces here. 18. A random one here and a random one here. 23, 24? Looks like 24. Maybe we'll buy like 24 lettuce. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds good to me. I'm not going to put the animals out yet because I still have watering and stuff to do, and even if you accidentally water too near to one of your animals, they're going to get upset. Yes, I see there's berries there, but I don't want to take up the space at the moment. We want to be good about our space. Ah, I felt like relaxing and recording a bit tonight. I got another unwanted day off of work. Oh man, they misplaced one of my utensils this morning and I couldn't find it anywhere, so I had to get one from home. That was so annoying. It's like, geez, you know, can you leave my stuff there so I can do my job? Thanks. That'd be great. Oh well. I suppose things can't be perfect all the time. Well, I wouldn't say perfect because they screw up things for me a lot. Kind of that person who's there, but not really there because I'm there in the morning, and everyone else comes there in the afternoon. So I basically never see anyone else who works there, except the boss's wife sometimes. Oh yeah, we should be able to get in. It is after 8. Greetings, greetings, we are here to buy your seeds. Craig, go away, no one likes you. Well, I'm sure there's somebody out there who does, like, probably Ruth and the family. <laughs> At least I would hope so. I really wish I had that second Wii Remote, though. That would help so much, you guys. I mean, yeah, it's creepy to do it that way, but still, I want to up these people's affection, like, as fast as I can. This is taking a long time. I mean, we don't even have Chase to one heart yet. What did I say it was? 23 or 24? I think I said 24. Something like that. If I'm a little off, I don't care. <laughs> good enough. We're good with that.
Well, on the track of music stuff here, since you know we're in such a musical area with this musical town, Blue Fields, Marimba Farm. Uh, what is it? So, did someone tell me what a view was? Cause I forgot. <laughs> if you did, I forgot. Oh wait, wait, wait! We need to go visit Chase. But yeah, did you guys play any instruments like in high school, middle school, college, afterward? I'm just curious. I think I mentioned before when Chase was playing the flute here that I played the flute in middle school and high school. I pretty much haven't touched it in a long time. I can see it right now sitting on my shelf. The poor little thing. Hello. I know you always say that, but we talk to you because that helps a little bit. What's going to help even more is some herbal tea if I can find it. There it is. Here you go! Whoa, 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 it's his birthday? Whoa, 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 wait a sec. Whoa, cool, maybe we gained some extra points with that. We gave him a present on his birthday, unintentionally. But we did. Come on, come on, will that get him up to one heart? He's so excited. Oh my god! Oh my god! We're an acquaintance of Chase! Oh my god! No, we don't want to track him right now. <laughs> Yay! Accomplishment, accomplishment! He noticed us! He's not senpai, really, but he noticed us! Oh man, I didn't even know it was his birthday. <laughs> I wish they'd put those on the calendar or something so you could keep track. Dang, I had no clue. Now that I think of it, I remember his birthday wasn't spring, but I didn't know what day it was. Well, that's I wish we had had something better to give him, like orange juice, but we can't get that yet. I saw blue herb over here and I want it. It's mine. It's mine. For me. No, but yeah, I've not instruments. Are you guys like into singing, into dancing? You know, anything like that. I'm curious. If you are into like either singing or dancing or music or classical music and stuff, you guys gotta watch Princess Tutu. If you haven't, you have to. That is my uh, mission for you for the day. Check out Princess Tutu. Do it. Hello, Renee. Have some herbal tea. But yeah, speaking of music and tunes and things, I also used to be in a lot of um, musicals growing up, starting when I was six years old in Oklahoma, which is actually really fun, and I was in those for a lot of years. My favorite, favorite, favorite of them all was Camelot, though. Oh, that was the most fun. I loved that one. Speaking of it, it's the month of May, isn't it? <laughs> oh, okay, this is random, but I'll sing a little ditty for you. Cha la, it's May, the last month of May, that lovely month where everyone goes blissfully astray. Cha la, it's here, that shocking time of year, when tons of wicked little thoughts merrily appear. Hey, I, I couldn't help it. Oh my god, my face just got really warm because I did that. I might edit that out. Oh my god. Did I really do that? That was probably off key, so I'm terribly sorry. I was just like, hey, yeah, Camelot, I remember that song. That was such a stupid song. <laughs> oh, it was so hard not to laugh through that song. God. Plus, you know, when we were on stage during that song, you had to flirt with everybody. Like, literally, you were expected to go and the girls were expected to flirt with all the guys and vice versa, and it was really freaking awkward, because some of- most of- there were not many young men in these plays, okay? So I was basically <laughs> having, like, 40, 30, <laughs> 30, 40 year old men flirting with me when I was, like, 15 years old. <laughs> I know it's just a play and everything, but it's awkward, okay? I mean, no. <laughs> Really awkward. Uh, it was still a fun play though, totally fun. I really enjoyed that that musical, that was great. Another one I really enjoyed was Music Man. That was really fun, except for the part where, you know, since they had a lack of boys, and the band was supposed to be an all-boys band, apparently, uh, they made all the girls dress up like boys and tuck their hair up in hats and stuff. 
not that I really minded it, I guess you could say that was my first experience with cross-dressing before I, uh, before I cosplayed the cure once. <laughs> oh, good times, good times! Lots of things you guys probably didn't ever want to know about. We need our hoe just for that one little spot. Oh, man. But yeah, were you guys ever, ever involved in stage stuff? Musicals, plays, anything like that? I'm just curious. I'm trying to list off what other stuff I've been in and tried. Let's see, um, Carousel. That was the year after Oklahoma, I believe, or it was two years after? Something like that. I don't remember exactly. I was also in Fiddler on the Roof. Whoops, we did not need to do that. Oh, here we go. Uh, what else? Da -da 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 -da. Oliachi, that was an opera, actually. I don't remember too much about that. I was really young then, too. It's strange that I don't remember about that. Bleh, I don't remember much about that one. But it, was, it was probably the weirdest of the bunch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember things, but... I need my hoe, and for some reason I didn't take it out. Here we go. But yeah, musicals have definitely have a special place in my heart. I really enjoy them. The only thing I really regret is that I wasn't able to be in Once Upon a Mattress. I don't know what I was feeling at that time, I was like, no, I'm not gonna try out for it this year, blah blah blah. And it ended up being so cool, so awesome, I would have loved to be a part of that musical. <laughs> and I was like kicking myself, because it just looks so amazing and fun. Uh... They're doing Cinderella this year, and I was like, nope, nope, I don't want to be a part of that. I have nothing against Cinderella, I just, no. Not really interested, to say the least. My mom's pretty much been in them, like, oh, I keep thinking I'm in my other game, and I don't have, I can't do, like, 9, 12 squares at a time here. Jeez, self, what do you think you're doing? Good times! Man, I remember when I was in band at the same time in high school when I was in Camelot, my brother was in it too, and we had a band instructor. Uh, one of the nights of the performance, we had to perform for a band on the field at the football game, and he did not let us off for that night. He's like, no, you get out of your costume, change into your band uniform, you come over here, and you march. We, we're doing performance night. Our, no, not the first performance night, but the second performance night that time. And he would not let us off. I was so ticked off about that. I mean, yeah, okay, band is important, I get that. But a performance like that that we've been... Well, okay, so we've kind of been preparing for months also for marching band and stuff, but still, I mean, one one flute out of, there were so many flutes for crying out loud. I guess it was a little tougher for my brother because he was like one of two trombones, so, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I really thought that was lame. Apparently the other music teacher for the lower grades was, <laughs> who was, who was uh, actually conducting in the play, or the musical rather, I was actually pretty upset to find that we couldn't get the time off, and apparently the other band instructor was his friend, so I don't know if they had a rift over it or what, but... Interesting times. More like frustrating times, but yeah. You guys have any fun stories from childhood, from school? I mean, sure, I'd love to, I'd love to read anything. You guys know I answer all my comments. I'll even answer them in a video if you want to, just specify it, and, you know, I'll say, okay, I'll do that. Or, you know, if you have any questions for me, or things you want me to talk about, that'd be great, especially for this game, because as you can tell, I have lots of time to talk in this. Uh, we won't have a whole lot done in this video, I'm afraid, but next one should be a pretty big one, I think. So we're going to get Eunice the Giraffe. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. So we gotta run up and get an oven yet and stuff. I think we'll be able to do it. Don't you? I do. You think so too, don't you, Molly? 
Molly, you've got to agree with me, girl. Molly agrees. She's a silent protagonist. Although not really. <laughs> they kind of show her trying to talk to people or whatever, and you can assume that she's saying something, but she's a typical uh, silent protagonist in appearance, at least. Most of the time she just makes gestures and things. Uh, that's, a, that's a fun thing about how they've done that throughout RPGs and other sorts of games with the whole silent protagonist thing. Probably one of the most infamous for that is Link. I don't know if Mario really counts, because they use voice for him sometimes. It's-a me! Mario! Stuff like that. Oh no! Mamma mia! Etc. <laughs> Etc. <laughs> right. I think who else was a silent protagonist? Oh! Chrono from Chrono Trigger. He was definitely a silent protagonist. And, uh... So was the lead character of Secret of Mana. His, oh, Randy's his default name. Okay, yeah. I had to think for a second there. Yeah, we're about getting ready to wrap up here in a minute for this video. I'm really sorry, you know, if that was bad singing or something. I'm probably gonna quit really hard when I look back on it, but... Please don't kill me for that, guys, okay? I just got in the moment and I was like, Oh, it's May! It's May! I'm talking about Camelot! I'm gonna die, you guys! And I did it. Oh, I... I'm so glad you guys couldn't see my face over that. I just, you know how you can tell when, when you're embarrassed and you just feel the heat rushing to your face in a flood. That happened to me once before when I was idly singing something while I was on Skype, but I didn't know I was. Uh, I thought I was on mute, and I found it like a minute later that I was. And people were like, "Oh my God, man, the singing! <laughs> what the hell?" <laughs> oh my God, I was so embarrassed. I had no idea the mute was off. It's like, you know, when you're by yourself, it's no problem. You know, you can sing to your heart's content. But in front of other people, it, if it's by myself, you know, that's when I get embarrassed. But, like, whoops. Why'd you go one over, Molly? Don't do that. Here we go. But yeah, when it's in a group or something, that's easier to handle. But when it's by yourself, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'll probably go use the hot spring in between this break, but... Thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Harvest Moon Animal Parade! I've been Shirahime. Have safe travels, my friends. I will see you next time. Bye bye